Thank you for being a connoisseur of Konya Corner and listening to another episode. It's me, your host, Marcus Boston. Please, 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 please share, like, and comment. Let me know what you think. I, I love feedback on what I can do better, where I can grow, where we can make this thing be what it's all it can be. Uh, follow me on IG at Marcus Boston 314 show page, Cognac Corner, leave me a comment, hop in them DMs, let me know what's going on. Also, follow me on Twitter at Marcus Cognac, show page, Cognac Corner. On the Facebook at Cognac Corner, let me know, follow, share. Uh, email me at Cognac Corner at Gmail with any relationship questions, any thoughts, anything you just want to discuss, any uh, gems I can give you away, any shots I could uh, pour in your cup. Um, if you want to be guests, also email me, DMs, comment, whatever. Let me know. Um, get your friends to become get your friends to become connoisseurs as well. So we just make this a bigger family event. So thank you again for being here and enjoy the show. Fuck up the uh, sipping do say boy, this ain't your daddy yet. He in the Cadillac, me I'm in the Maybach. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, or whatever in between gender you are. Uh, choose to live by um um marcus boston this is cognac corner damn i forgot to turn that goddamn cooler off <laughs> uh, i hope it don't, I hope it hope it don't bother us too much but we, we'll deal with it and i'm marcus boston and this is cognac corner welcome back connoisseurs of uh the new and improved always growing corner and today we have on a special guest a young lady I've known for some few years before her life went through a whole shit show. Um, <laughs> Vera, round of applause, everybody. Round of, God damn it. Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How are you this, this evening? I'm decent. I, uh, so first, I didn't have my kids today, and I didn't work either one of my jobs today, and I slept and then woke up like, wow, I haven't been this unproductive in like years it feels like well that's not true i haven't been so unproductive in a very long time <laughs> you lost me with kids it's like plural like, oh <laughs> you've never been into kids What's fuck no that's a horrible investment i'd rather just burn the money it always killed me that as not into kids as you are but the fact that like you're a hardcore like big brother exactly i know my lane <laughs> they go home <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's nothing cool saying I'm babysitting my kids like that doesn't make no sense <laughs> that 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 looks good me having being a dad eh, that's easy you know how that happened doing that shit's hard <laughs> that's hard having to, being, a, being a dad is not much work <laughs> uh, it depends on how it making happens. the child I'm right, saying right, the rest right. of it you know that's up to the quality man you are but mm-mm, this shit looks good when I don't want to do it guess what I don't have to sign back up <laughs> oh my fucking life <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have me in child support court looking nuts. That's true. Not today, Satan. Not today. I always feel like it depends on the dude. But you don't have to take someone to child like to court, if, whatever. But I don't even. I don't even want to. I don't even want to learn that process. There's a lot it's of things not... I want to learn. It just sounds like a fucking drag. Well, if you're both adult, I don't know. Like you know, I don't like being attached to nothing, nobody. Now uh, okay. I feel bad for leaving people, but. I don't, I don't even know that. I, I just, uh, uh but why? You know, so, like, this is the thing that, like, has terrified me here recently, right? Like, do you, do you remember, like, you remember when me and you first met? Mm-hmm. And how much, like, I wanted to be attached to somebody? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. psychotically. <laughs> you, that's not an uncommon thing, unfortunately. Well, yeah, yeah, I, no, no, no disagreement on that. Like, that's I'm shit. not a terrible person because that's what I wanted, no, but. I mean, this just like a, a woman, I ain't met a woman yet that didn't have that, that was under 40. <laughs> Over forty, they got to like, hey, fuck that nigga, man. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna live my life under forty. But I said, I need somebody. To no, make me. no. I'm just saying. No, like me, because you, me, and you had that conversation the other day, and then for like five seconds, I was like, blah blah blah, and then not with anybody specific, just like thinking about like, oh, I wish that I had somebody to like hang out with and like talk to at the end of the day and all this stuff, but then like. I briefly got, like, a glimpse into, like, the world of what being with somebody again is. And I was like, no. no. When have you not been? Okay, let's, let's start at the top, so. Okay. Um, you the reason I got into Ubering. But did, was it the Uber I met you, or was it? That was the Uber. Let me tell you what happened with that story. That, you know that story. Because oh, that's because I needed a, a ride back to my car. Because I got so goddamn 
um, full of joy yep. and Holy Ghost. I yep. couldn't drive home. So once I got home, after paying the $22 in Taco Bell <laughs> and a brand new, fresh polo jumpsuit. I'm talking about crispy. I was ready to go out that night. I was ready. I do remember that. My country ass got to call my best friend to come pick me up, take me home because I couldn't drive because the Holy Spirit had got, had got it inside of me. <laughs> the point i couldn't get i couldn't get to where i needed to go um and i said well i guess i'm gonna get my car i said well everybody else i can either go east side because about three in the morning or i can go get my car i said well let me get my car and that's how and that's how um you got met. yeah that's how you got to know me and my uniqueness yeah, what do you mean uniqueness? Your bad decision making skills, or what? I do not. If I'm trying to make my life interesting, my life, interesting, right? Which for that's the season, and that's the that's, that's, that's no, a spin, that's a spin room on no, that. No, for real. Like when I was in like middle school and high school or whatever, I was like, if nothing else, I accomplished in life. At least I want to accomplish like my life being interesting. Like that was for real, like a life goal of mine. I was like, I just want to be interesting. Because you, you never know how successful you're going to be. Like, a lot of it's just pure dumb luck. You know what I mean? Hard work and then, like, 10% dumb luck. You know? Maybe not. <laughs> if that was some bullshit, you just... <laughs> you <laughs> would get your uh, Joe Biden CNN ass out of here. Is that, is that the goddamn question. Don't bullshit me. <laughs> I watched that shit today. I was like, get the fuck oh, out no. of here, Joe. No, I, I, like I said, I didn't do anything today. And then <laughs> See, since I was having... interested in some seasons. No, you're a bad decision maker. Get the fuck out oh, of here. Oh, no, I did want to make my life interesting, but I definitely have bad decision making. Yeah, in the wrong direction. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. correct. So, your yeah. intent, your idea was great. Your execution was horrible. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> your fucking execution was <laughs> Now, I, I always want, no, there's nothing about, my children existing that because I I wanted to be a mother like from forever, so like nothing about that. But some of the processes like like here's like we were t- like you were just talking about like child support and stuff, right? So that shit is horrible. But so I ain't been on it. Ain't gonna get on it. You know what, man? I'm scared to do it again because I'm moving this shit. I've really <laughs> been like, man. I don't know. I could get me. I could get back over up in forty. I mean, know your shit's taken out of your body. That's what I get to. That <laughs> right. shit is scary. Like, oh, okay, I think I'm fucking petrified. I need therapy. Go ahead, carry on. Sorry. But so my and I'm not gonna say his name just because I don't want to do that to him. But um, a you got you should have thought this out like with your alias name. I should oh, have. Oh, um, a oh okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. <laughs> All right, Q. Hey, Q. There we go. Ronald, go ahead, Ronald. Ronald. No. God damn, boy, you are horrible at this. I'm terrible. I told you. You said A. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> Ronald it's McDonald. Um, oh man, she said we're like A. Lord have mercy. Um, I'm back with you. But so, like Ronald and I have like this agreement, and he doesn't have to pay child support, and I don't have to let him ever see his kid. Now, does he see his kid? Yes, like he's there tonight. And does he like pay, put my child on his health insurance? Yes. We just don't need the court to tell us like what to do. You know what I mean? Like, hey Omar, when you hear this episode, fuck you, and I'm gonna still keep putting ice in my drink when I record. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, when you hear this. <laughs> but um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, so we don't have those kinds of issues, right? Mm-hmm. Because like. I got what I want. And, like, yeah, there's times where, like, I'm frustrated, like, not having certain financial stuff. But I chose that. Like, I could have taken them to court. I could have done all that stuff. But that's not what I valued. And then, um... <laughs> Girl, did I say your name when I introduced you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, didn't, I didn't say your name? I don't know. I thought you did. Well, her name is Vera. I know. We're about 10 minutes in. I think I said it, but I could be wrong. You know, things happen. There's you always know, an edit. You like, you like Rogue from X Men when she retired. Like, you just said, fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to be X Men. I'm going to go home and get some oh, rest. You, are you talking about my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like Rogue said, I'm going to move to Alabama. No, fuck for, y'all. So, like, here's the thing, right? I started going gray when I was like in high school like that's just what happened the way you live your life you should have a whole head of gray <laughs> i do i do but <laughs> like motherfucking betty what's her name betty betty, betty white betty white <laughs> but you know so my mom started going gray early too but now her hair is like that beautiful silver color that like everybody pays a million dollars for 
and she's like 60 and everyone's like oh where'd you get it done and she's like this is just what happens when you go god (laughs) g-o-g-a-w-d god (laughs) gave me these locks (laughs) but but yeah so then i diet a lot and then sometimes i don't diet because i don't care and then i do care and then it's a back and forth game (laughs) <laughs> but yeah so what was I talking oh and then my other child's father me and him have issues um, um, Menendez give him that name Menendez. Uh, Menendez and Ronald it makes sense um, <laughs> that um that whole, that whole situation is a dumpster fire okay. once you told me that story okay first what, what, what was the uh, what was the husband name uh, Joshua Joshua. Joshua. How am I better than this than you name? I don't know his real name. No, you got that one. Oh, good, good. I was hoping I would not say his real name, but accidentally think it's the fake name. Like, yeah, no, he, no, he's one of them Watts, but I don't know exactly oh, his name. But you know what? Like, so. I don't know his name at all. So, Joshua, like, because I still get, because, like, when you're married to somebody for 10 years, you, like, you still get, like, shit, like, credit updates, oh, like, man. randomly emailed to you. Yeah, nuts. So, well, well, and that's probably the reason why I'm not, I don't know. We got married at 20. I don't know. Whole I don't investment. Know. Yeah, it was It was a whole. If you was a stockbroker, boy, you'd be out of business. Me, honestly, I'm good with money. But, but you're horrible with life. I'm horrible with life. <laughs> I'd rather be, I bet, I am bad with money, but I'm great at life. <laughs> Let me give me an account on a woman that want to take my finances out of my hands. Oh, I'm good, good. I'm good money. <laughs> But no, I, I still sometimes, honestly, like, because, like, today, right, like, I had to get money out of my account, and I haven't mm-hmm. looked at my account, because I lost the password, something happened with the password, I haven't looked at my bank Bad account. life, there you go. But go I haven't looked at my bank account in, like, two months, I, mm-hmm. like, so, but they give me the balances when they give it to me, I'm like, holy shit, I still have that much in there, mm-hmm. like, I was that's like. How I feel about ooh, hundred dollars, <laughs> ooh, it's a combo, motherfucker, it's a combo. <laughs> and here is money back to life. <laughs> but, <laughs> Give me some commas. I'm coming for my commas. Bleed that. Give me some commas, motherfucker. But um, my motherfucking commas. <laughs> but so I still get random updates from my ex's credit, right? And I, I I'm good with money. It's what I do. Like yeah. I look at it. I'm like good at money, bad at life. <laughs> I, <laughs> we bad at life. Money is expensive. <laughs> I will say, like, there's some poor choices I've made, that, but the minute it starts to affect finances, like, that is the one thing. If it affects my finances, it's cut. <laughs> if a male accept, uh, affects my finances, he gets cut. That, like... <laughs> what? I don't even know how to put that together into a thought. What I was saying is, like, my kids, like, my kids get whatever they want. Okay, I'm, uh, okay, right. I mean, that's a given. Yeah, that's... yeah, yeah. That, like, my, my child yesterday, we were at Walmart getting stuff for the fourth, and he picks up a Marshall stuffed toy or whatever. I'm like, I know that's expensive. It looks stupid, but I oh. know it's expensive. Yeah, the Marshalls? No, Marsh- <laughs> Marshall is a, a character from a TV show. <laughs> yeah, something I would never know. You would never know. So he picks up this stuffed dog, and, um... Marshall from... TV show. It's uh, it's not Puppy Dog Pals. It's like Paw Patrol or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's called it, the character is Marshall. So he picks up and he goes, "Marshall, Marshall." I'm like, "All right, whatever." Like in ten seconds, like you'll drop it and then I can put it back. So he's like clutching onto this thing through all of Walmart, right? Wow. And so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to buy that dog. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, gonna never have sex again. This is <laughs> <This is horrible. laughs> so, This is a horrible sentence for anybody that's involved. <laughs> <laughs> but so we get up to the checkout and I get onto the conveyor belt thing yeah. and I, she picks up the dog and I was like, do not scan that. And so she like slides it behind the like, because by this point he's forgotten that Marshall existed and he's yeah. on to like some candy or whatever. I'm like, all right, I'll get you a Twix, but I'm not buying, spending however much it requires on that stupid stuffed dog. Half of me. I mean, I'm not half me. Very small percentage of me want to have a kid to prove to myself that I will fuck my kid up. <laughs> like, I will be that dad. Like, I love you, but I will fuck you up, son. No, when I say, I want to see, I just want to see if I want to stick to that as I say that now. But it's not worth finding out. <laughs> right. Well, it's. I'm like, nah, I'll just let that be a mystery. Some things you'll let be a mystery. And I don't need to make that investment to prove myself right or wrong. Because regardless of the answer, I'm stuck. (laughs) And here we are. Well, and, like, so there's, 
some things with my child that I'm like, man, you're just like me and that's terrible. But then like, so he was at like daycare, his old daycare. I watched him one keep time. Going, I'm going to pull this thing out. But keep talking. Um, I was at watching his daycare, uh, him at his daycare a while ago. And there was a, like a one year old boy or something like, like a kid in his class. Right. That had backed a girl into the corner and was like being rude to her and bullying her and all that stuff. And my kid's small, like, you know, his dad, his dad's not the biggest dude in the entire world. And so, um, correct the mundo. Um, so my kid's small, this older, bigger boy has backed this little girl into the corner and my little, like my little Dominic goes over, pushes the kid down, grabs the girl's hand and walks away with her. Oh. And I was like, he'll be a ninja. Well, I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, you know, I was like, uh. Now, there is the part of me that's like, don't get wrapped up in her drama. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a chivalrous, but to, to what to what cost is the question. <laughs> right. But, like, as a mom, the amount of pride that, like, gets instilled in you when you see your child do that, like, he couldn't have necessarily gotten taught that, maybe in minor things, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, but, like, not in a large degree, but when you see your kid do that, you're like... You could be amazing <laughs> in your in your parent mind. You know what yeah. I mean. You're like you're going to be awesome, and you're going to save the world, and you're going to be so spectacular. And then yesterday, uh, he was in the car with a little girl, and she stuck her fingers in the window, and he rolled up the window, and <laughs> and we're back, right? And we're back to being a mass murderer, right? And I'm like, please, like, right. cut the motherfucker off, <laughs> yeah. And like you don't like you don't know how to respond because you're like mm-hmm. he's just being a he's just being a child. No Dom, no, no Dahmer, no. <laughs> right. And then like at the same time, like you cannot reach behind the seat properly to smack him. <laughs> like, oh, this is too this is too much energy. This is too much brain power for that. That whole this all that I know how. God, I just I don't know. I just you know I, I admire those that do. Right. Well, and so like that's the thing is I. It sounds weird, but I knew I didn't have the dedication to, like... Because I'm not stupid. I know I'm not stupid. Make poor life choices, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> but um, I know the poor choices I'm making as I'm making them. I just think that somehow it's going to be different. Um, and so um, I I know I'm intelligent, but I knew I was never going to accomplish being a doctor. Like, I know that I can put things together in a way that's different than other people. But, because even, like, I like I work in a demi- domestic violence shelter. Why, why being a doctor? Is a, why is that the bar? I don't know, because I wanted to be a doctor. Oh. Okay. Like, that was, that's what it was, is I wanted right. to be a doctor. I put some shit out the air, I'm like, why? It's just not. No, no, I just, that was, like. Oh, okay, it was the goal. It was a. That was my thing. I was good at science. I was good at math. Yeah. So. I believe, let them go to God, you know, just, you know, who, who us to say, uh. They should be saved. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what. <laughs> he giveth and taketh away. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I imagine you saying that with a nine mil in your hand as you like shoot somebody in the face. Like, <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so, um, but even like, even like I worked at the domestic violence shelter and, um, there was a lady that called in. She need, we, also, we offer immediate domestic violence shelter. So, like, if you think your partner is going to kill you in the next five seconds, you can call us and we will provide you with a short-term t- stay until you can find a long-term stay in a long-term shelter. That, like, there are shelters in the area. What? I'm going to find me a therapy. This is making me sad. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> anyway, so I... Um, I am a winner. <laughs> Anyway, what's the King Lamar song? I'm a thing I can't. Lord, forgive me. But so. Um, is, that, is that you turning and making it? What? That was me. That is you. Like, what the. I don't, but I don't understand why your turn is making that. Because it was rubbing up against the. um This thing? Oh, man. I was like, I know I'm I know I'm with the spirit, but I know that can't, that can't be that <laughs> fucked up. He ain't got that much Holy Ghost. I was like, shit. shit. All right, let's start at the top. So you get this damn tenure marriage. Okay. It was incompatible. And right. then yeah, I move here because he's, he's on the armed forms. And go. Okay. So tenure marriage, we move here. Um, We have an open marriage yeah. in theory. Man, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of cutting you off, so you're good. Get your breaks. Um, 
I don't know what's about me in my life, but I, I've 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 encountered those. Two, if it was not open, it was like a poly. So I guess the same fucking difference. I guess that is open. I was like, there is a difference. It's, there's a difference, but the other ones, I haven't been poly. Cause that's that's something totally different. I'm thinking up and open. I'm like, is it me? Is that stuff? Is that a fragrance I have? <laughs> I swear I wear shit that look like I'm like I'm black, black, black. I have a lot of a lot of artsy people. I'm like, hmm, what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, go ahead. That's oh, better for no, you. No, you're good. <laughs> Although I will say that St. Louis has a large, like, sexually other community. Ain't shit to do here, but fuck and 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 be mad about you ain't fucking. You know, what's you gonna do? That's true. Like you going to the beach to do some creative? All these miserable ass fuckers. Right. That's and true. Ain't yeah, fucking you guys be- don't got snowboarding. Ain't know, got man. shit here but crime, or- fucking, and 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 drugs. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's ain't true. shit to do here. Ain't shit to do if you ain't got shit to do. Or to be angry, yeah. Or to be angry at the social mm. system, but yeah. Yeah, we get the fucking man. We get the <laughs> right. no community. Um, it's some, some shit you can't control. But yeah, so we were in an open marriage, um, and then it was just not super awesome. Like we were just bad, and so we decided that we were going to get. A- Who idea was that? That it was bad. That it was open. Um. <sighs> Did I ever tell you the full story? Why do you take your your nigga beer there? Why do y'all Why Heineken? You call- that nigga beer. That's bougie nigga beer. Only time I see people drink Heineken is bougie niggas. I buy that's some nasty ass beer. That's some nasty Heineken. That shit makes you mad at the club and shit. Should I should, should I have asked for Old E instead? Would that have that's been just better? racist? Oh, oh no no. That's just I say. for real though. You want to know the first time I got drunk? The first time I got drunk was off of Old E for and. Like, you understand, like, how stereotypical white I am, right? Like, you understand that One to the extreme? Whites, yes. Yeah. One of those whites. One of those, yeah. Whites. Um, so, I, the but for real, the first cigarette I smoked was Newport's, and the first beer that I drank was Old Fort, or Old E. Look at Rachel Dollars, so I wanted you to get your life together. Okay? But, no, and for you like. leave my culture alone. We wasn't bothering nobody. We were just <laughs> chilling in Africa, swinging dicks. Now you we were swinging fucking holes, not in a good way. <laughs> but, so, no, that was, I drank, like, I, I, I drank and smoked that, for, that shit for, like, the first year. Before someone was like, I, we had one of our friend's sisters buy us beer, and we are like, old E, and she was like, I'm not going to buy that, that's trashy. And we are like. That's rude. <laughs> and then, like, well, she was correct. Right, and then we, and then we learned, and we were like, huh. Yep. <laughs> and then I smoked Marlboro Reds for like half a week, and then um, back to these nigga killers. I need my fucking carbon glass and my cigarettes. Right, right. Well, I, I mean, give me a Newport one hundred. <laughs> well, no, it was Newport one hundred. Like it wasn't even like it was, oh, that the, shit you, you gotta know, like that shit my is first like engineer to kill black people. From the time I was 15 till I was like 16 and a half, 17, it was 40s of old E and new poor hundreds. That was my life. I don't know how you still alive. Because <laughs> I, because we were really white, and it was like I don't know how your immune system is even able to handle it. Probably because you ate out of greens, ate a white diet. Maybe right, I don't know. Right? No, me and although me and my friend have this joke all the time that because um, people will talk about that, but that's what like the person that taught us to drink that's what they drank yeah. and so that's what we drank and then um like then later on when we learned we were like you know we sound really like gangster or whatever but we're not like we're not like we used to like we we used to smoke weed do all this other stuff and then like and then you show up at places and they're like, really? I've never had Old And you're like, huh, what did you drink? And they're like, Colt 45 or something like that. Or they're like, Steel Reserve. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. Or we also drank Mad Dog 45 or whatever it is. That's that orange stuff, right? It's Mad Dog 2020. Okay, but Mad Dog. That was, that was the, like, we would get that. <laughs> and you've never, you've never seen, like, your, your best friend's a female, right? Yeah, I miss her. Yeah, I just had my Make my best my, my best friend's a dude and he has three kids and so we never have time to talk. But I just had a investment. why do you guys are you guys not cool anymore? Oh, she's busy as fuck. She, oh yeah, she yeah. Got a fiance, and got a kid. A whole life. And he a yeah. Cop. yeah, I ain't in the room for me. I'm still here doing fuck shit. Yeah, yeah. But then, you know what? When I got married, that's the way me and my best friend were. That like I got married and then I actually went out and lived with him for like six months before I went to Germany. And, um, that was the, like, 
he was in the Air Force. He went to work at three, got off at nine, and like all of his buddies and like that he worked with would come over and we would just drink until like four o'clock in the morning. And then we'd wake up, he would go, like, he would go off to work, I'd clean the house, and then we'd have more people over. But, like, I didn't care about cleaning the house, because I really didn't have to pay that much in rent, and so, I was living in oh, California. this isn't about Joshua. No, yeah. no, this wasn't Joshua. My, my, I, my best friend's Chris, and that's their for real name. But, um, uh-huh. he doesn't have Facebook, and he's, he has my back no matter what. So, he just gave, he owns his own business and stuff. No what? He's a, he's a home inspector, but he's a home inspector in Colorado, where, like, the real estate is ridiculous, and mm-hmm. he charges. I don't remember what it is, but it's like. I thought home inspector work for the city. He owns his own business. Oh, so okay. I mean, I don't know about the real no, estate. So right, I mean, right, right. Well, and I don't know. I don't know the difference between re- in real estate. I don't know. I guess I thought no. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. That makes sense. No, yeah, you, yeah, you have. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm thinking like meter readers or some shit like yeah right yeah, they got that shit here you gotta get an inspection for your home right and, right right All and put up for sale blah 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 you usually get contracted through like the real estate or whatever mm-hmm. yeah i'm tripping the holy ghost got me right but then on top of that because he's around houses all the time and because Carter real estate market has like quadrupled like, all, that, all that holy ghost out there all that holy all ghost, that ghost. <laughs> um, but, colorado's haunted right but so <laughs> when yeah but so he also owns or he also owns a bunch of houses that he rents out mm-hmm. so he, like he bought a house was able to use the equity in that to buy a different house it's a whole like yeah the whole this whole it's, it, it, yeah yeah well, i heard a line i was like i'll listen to uh I think I listened to Joe Rogan when Joe Rogan had on um, Charlemagne and Andrew Schultz. I, I bring it. It was like, how crazy is it that we selling shit that we don't own? Like, the, we don't own the ground. Like, we right, might right. own the building material, like the oh, actual but, earth. We don't own that shit. Now in Colorado, you do. Like, I'm talking about like in real life. I, oh, you're, you're talking yeah. about you're in, not talking about property value. You're talking about in like, real life. Like right. we don't own this shit. We sell it. Right, right. Like, <laughs> like, it, like we don't own none of this shit. The, the wood isn't our. Like, yeah. I think I'm gonna fuck with that happy arrogance. Say, you know what? I want to own this land. Like, right. Motherfucker, I ain't gonna shit here before you. Like, you know what? I want to make this my right, right, right. We, uh, how arrogant are you? Like, it's, it's the thought of someone came up that I'm gonna own this earth that was here before right, me and say ar- it's mine. This arbitrary thing that, like, like my dad made that, and my dad's he's a libertarian. I'm more hardcore libertarian than him, but mm-hmm. we were talking about it and we were talking about the border, like the border wall and stuff like that. He's mm-hmm. like, he's like, so you draw an arbitrary line in the sand and you say, now if you cross this line, this arbitrary line in the sand, you get shot. He's mm-hmm. like, you can't, like, he's like, that's so a- much fake shit kill a lot of real people. Right. And so he's like, much fake shit kill a lot of real people. Right. So it's like, no, like we don't own anything. I mean, but I, I grew up Unitarian, which is kind of different. So you want to call Kind of. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not playing with y'all. These goddamn names. Um, All right. Back to you. Oh, you wrote the black man. Oh, uh, okay. Then you was married for 10 years in to, Germany. To, and go. Okay. Married for 10 years in Germany. Oh, so right before. How long was the open marriage? Like from the start? Pretty much. Well, because he slept with another dude. Oh, shit, bust that thing. Get you some, boy. I always have a sound effect, but I don't have shit. <laughs> um, ooh, man, like this. A whip. Nah, uh, he's, nah he uh, was yeah. a receiver, not the giver. Oh, he was a bottle. Uh, I don't know what to say. What do I? I don't... <laughs> Magic booty? I don't know. I don't even know what to That's do. I don't know what to do. I can't get better. <laughs> oh, that's not that's good. That's not good at all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That was insert coin. Uh, maybe a harp? I don't know. <laughs> okay, go, okay. I'm sorry, go. So he like basically what happened is we I went to visit him while he was in training. Mm-hmm. Um there was this dude that came up and was like um I want to sleep with your husband. And I was like, you're going to have to talk to him about that. Man, like, you whites is nasty. Y'all whites <laughs> living, boy. I swear. Y'all into some shit. I ain't met one yet. That's all t- I don't ask no, I don't test no line. I'll be like, I just, I be, yeah. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. So, hey, y'all be a freaking nasty people. Go ahead. Okay. So, well, so, all right. So, he, 
this dude comes up to me, asks me, and I'm like, you're gonna have to talk to him about that, which honestly would have been my resp same response if it was a girl. Like, I'm not a person, I'm like, I'm not gonna restrict, restrict you from what you want to do. Like, I might judge you for it, but I'm not, like, I'm not gonna restrict you because that's not gonna accomplish anything. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, somehow, like, we end up in a hotel room. And so we're starting to do, like... <sighs> Adult things. Adult things. Go ahead. Like, and it's... Well, oh, like, <laughs> that's a good one. That's, this is a... <laughs> so it was two guys and you? Or what, how, what was, how many but, bodies? Okay, was? okay, yes, but not in the same... <laughs> and not in a good way for me. Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Right. <laughs> There's only one pole and two buttholes. They can't, can't do both at the same time. It's... I'm, I, Carry on. I don't know. <laughs> Proceed, please. Okay. So, um, so eventually, like, <laughs> eventually, like, I'm like, this is not where I want to be at all. Like, no. Like, this, I thought this was going to end, like, with the first question. Like, when he went and talked to, when... Why did they bring you into that if you want to be there? What was the point of you being there when it wasn't about you? Because he was trying... I don't... I don't know what happened. But I don't know why... I'll use his real name, Malachi. Um, why Malachi decided to... That's a, that's a horrible real name. It's 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 not... It's, I, I that's some biblical shit. Now I don't know. That's, not, I, that's what... That's, I, children, he had, on the, children on the corn, too. And that. Right, right. Especially since he's white. Like, I feel like... Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not playing that white boy. Right. Like, fuck. I, let's start look here. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm already on... on I'm on my, 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 my last three of the whites. I'm not playing on Malachi. <laughs> okay. Right. Go over there. So, he... <laughs> um, So, like, I kind of, like, take a step back. And I realize that, like... Jonathan... Was that the name we decided on? Uh, Joshua. Joshua. There we go. I was gonna say Josiah, but that's something. That's a good one too. We just keep just saying the names. It's <laughs> Jacob, uh, J Jacoby. See, do you know how to live um, like first initials? J Jamila. We can. I can throw some fucking J's out here. All right. So okay. Jang -a -lang, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So um. So then it's just Joshua and Malachi like doing their thing, mm -hmm. and then they go into the shower where. Joshua proceeds to wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So Joshua, <laughs> Joshua and Malachi go into the shower where Joshua proceeds to receive. Uh huh. I mean, you just out here just as this. You just out here. What, what are you coaching? Like you just love you. Like no, no. I'm just like <laughs> honestly. I'm like I'm about to see what's gonna happen, and then I'm gonna run outside and tell my best friend. Like that's like, are, much you, are you clothed? Are you participating? What are you keeping score? What are you doing? I don't know. I like honestly, the only thing I remember about that, like I remember being on the bed and like stopping and like watching them do it and being like, I'm not needed. Dap your brow. What do you mean? <laughs> so then, um, things in life. And then I remember like just kind of watching them like walk to the shower and me being like, what are they doing? And then like peeking my head in and being like, huh. And then Joshua starts getting it up the butt. That is making sense. Uh, um, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I got it. I got it. I got it after. <laughs> So Malachi was getting up to No, jo Joshua was. Joshua was getting up to There you go. Go ahead. Um and then walking out and going and calling my best friend. <laughs> and I was like, what the like You called your guy best friend about that? Yeah. <sighs> That's what I don't miss. <laughs> I don't miss that shit. He said, I hate them stuff. Like, I don't worry about that shit. I know I'm your guy, but goddamn. <laughs> I don't want to know. Man, that shit does suck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he true that. Carry on. Um, so he what was I gonna say? Um <laughs> Cut in the <laughs> <laughs> after he So and then I go back upstairs and they're like just taking like a romantic shower or whatever. Man, this is this is beautiful. I, I mean, I wish I get to the point in my life I could find all that energy for all that. That's right. beautiful. So, that shit looks great and sounds beautiful. I'd be like, ah, man, I really just want to go to sleep. <laughs> I got to get my life together. Um, but so, then, like, so, the night ends. I don't remember what happens after that. Honestly, I don't. Like, it's been, that was, that was when I was 20. And I'm 32 now. So, it's been a couple years. So, um. 
Anyway. I don't know what that story had to do with anything. We were trying to learn. Um, You were trying to tell, have me talk. Oh, you was in Germany. Um, we talk- Oh, you were talking about, the, you asked about the open marriage. Yeah, you started yeah. It. That's where we got this shit. Yeah. That's my fault, man. I do this shit all the time. Uh, sorry. So you asked about the open marriage. So then, like, me and him got into a big argument about it. And I was like, is this something that you feel like you need to, like, explore or whatever? Mm-hmm. And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, okay, I know I'm not gay. Like... I, was that experience before the open marriage or after it? This it's what in, initiated it. So then I was oh, like, oh, so then I was damn, like, that's gangsters, motherfucker. What now? Damn, you said I had a feel. Oh, whoa, what? So like, you didn't know he was into that before then? Oh, you a bad. You a God bless you. That you. I don't know a woman that would have stayed after shit like that. What kind of surprise shit is that? That ain't gonna surprise somebody right. no shit like that. Right, right. <laughs> what the fuck is? Oh, that's I never. I didn't know that story. Right. It makes me look like a little bit less of a human being, huh? Not okay. <laughs> a little bit. Little like, little you, you do have some very, very, very minor life skills decisions. You, you do make it. You wait. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, uh, wait. Wait. So well, I didn't tell people that for years, well, right? I'm not gonna indict you or fucking set you free. I'm not gonna shoot you bail or indict you. I was so confused. Okay, so then round so, of applause for Hope getting through it because that's amazing. So wow. So wow, that's ballsy. No, so I was like, I was like, look, if this is what you need to do, fine, go do it. But I get to do my thing too. Oh, absolutely. Right. So that's how it started. Mm-hmm. Now, he's he was never particularly like outgoing. Uh-huh. I'm more outgoing. That says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know if you think if I'm you, not... If you the crazy one, that's shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, eventually it became something where I was more successful than him, obviously. And then he was in the military before the don't ask, don't tell policy was repelled. Right. So, he can't win that. He, he, he don't have a vagina. Um, he uh, has the rules and regulations to live by. You're not going to win that one, buddy. Never. That was a horrible right. race to even get in. Right. So, um, so I I was never even, and I don't know if you know this, but I was never particularly active in it. Mm. But um, so we did that for like a year, and then uh. um, some shit happened, and his like chain of command was watching him, and I was like, look, this isn't fair. Like for you, like mm. I can do whatever I <laughs> want, but you can't do whatever you want. You I'm know, here busting it down. You are here rapping. You can't. You're here. You tied his motherfucking uh, booty. Yeah. <laughs> but so, <laughs> you can't do that. That's torturous. Right. So I was That's like, fucked up. so I pulled back. So I was like, all right, we're done. And so like the rest of the time he was in the military, nothing. Right. Because uh, I was like, like, it's not, it's not fair to it's, you. It's like you playing basketball, you Kobe, you playing against motherfucking a child. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's like, okay, I can't keep duck. I can't keep busting your ass. <laughs> 50 to nothing each game. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> So I'm out here live my best life. You are here like this is bullshit. Right, right. This like, is my, this is my shit. Right, like I'm living in Germany. Like I get to go. Like I'm meeting like people that like. Meeting, yeah. Throw your schnitzel. You can just schnitzel around all over goddamn Germany. Yeah, well, like this is bullshit. I see, but that's the thing is, I never slept with that many people. But there was like people just liked me, and so well, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I was never. I was never, like, I was never super active sexually. Like, I would spend you just, time. You just like having people around? You just like, have, be, you just like being in a spot? You just like, you just like, have some little, little tension, little time, little bullshit? Man. I never really had to, like, get them. I don't know. It was just weird. Because, like, when I lived in Germany, I was bigger than I am now. So, it wasn't like I was, like, super attractive or anything like that. Who the hell got come here, girl? American girl, you look so juicy and warm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like no like there was a guy who was like he, he's like look at that girl right there <sighs> give me some of that big guy <laughs> <laughs> but no for real there was like a guy in italy who i met at a hostel who the first hostel was good the second third one was trash but the first yeah, one was a good one the, the, the first one was a good one that shit fucked me up i was like fuck that i'm never but that's, this guy. <laughs> but that's what hostels look like i believe you yeah, i believe like, i said that's fucked up i saw it on bootleg that's how long that shit that shit was right but so i met this guy at a hostel um he ended up being like some he, he worked at the airport and made a bunch of money mm-hmm. and like through me and him talking he was like um 
honestly, it takes me 45 minutes. He's like, I have a house out in the country, but like I was inherited through my family. It's a big estate, but I've been wanting to get an apartment like closer to my job in the city. Um, and like, this was a for real story. Like just not some bullshit line. Like this Wasn't was he really Robin Hood. No, it was honestly, but he was like, I, I want to get, I want to get closer to work. He's like, if you uh-huh. wanted to, it was in Milan. Um, and Milan's notorious for their terrible traffic, but, um, or their tor- terrible traffic circle. But, um, mm-hmm. he's like, if you want to move down here, um, you can stay, my like stay at the apartment or whatever. Um, cause I want to get one anyway. And then I didn't cause that was the choices I was making at the time. <laughs> that mm-hmm. might've been a better choice for me, but. So let's recount everybody. <laughs> she made two choices to her. Her uh, Joshua out of nowhere choose to get involved with another uh, another man in front of her, exclusive from activities, because he wants to first he gonna do some of this. <laughs> then they went to the shower. It sounded very romantic and beautiful. Like it was something I would watch if it wasn't for that. Right. Then it was a whole lot of. <laughs> and then oh, I was surprised. Like it was like. <laughs> Guess who's coming for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I like men, and men likes me. What? Like, God, what? A... She stays, everybody. Okay. Right. So I. Then she goes to an open marriage. Right. So for the sake of him, I'm recapping this story. <laughs> she goes to open marriage for sake of him, because he's in the military, saving us from. I don't know where he's saving us from, but whatever they tell him, we saving us from. She's out here. She out here just have her best life but ain't doing shit she's just out and about in the streets but ain't, 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 ain't hitting no streets she out here ain't doing nothing about her she ain't doing none of this but she has a choice she has the freedom to do so and live her best life oh boy Joshua is just stuck inside right but so I so we end that right like mm-hmm. so it's done he gets out of the military I'm like where are you at with all of this mm-hmm. like this is the this is the first time that you've been able to go about this in like a for real way. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was like, "Let's do it again." And I was like, "Okay." So we um, we try it, but he's not having a whole lot of luck. He ain't got them personality. Sound like got them score. He is. So yeah. So he doesn't. He's not having a whole lot of luck. So we put it. We, a context for it, sir. <laughs> right. So we put a kibosh on it, and then we end up in St. Louis. Uh-huh. And I was like, "Look, I'm like, it's either now or this is done." Because, uh, yeah, this is yeah. So, um, he. So we're like, okay. What year, we, what year is this now? Eight, seven, fourteen. Huh? Because he got oh, out in 2013. Like, how many years y'all together? Oh, point? um. This is, we got married in, two, this is year seven. Okay. okay. So, um, yeah. So we go through, and mind you, like, he's terrible financially. Like, con- consistently I save up, like, $6,000 and find out that he's just spent it all on dumb, dumb shit. Wow. And so, um, like, I do all of our taxes and I make sure we get good taxes back. And, like, man, I'm good with finances. I mean, I don't want to say I'm the best, but... I'm a single mom of two, and I don't have to work. Like, not right now. I mean, eventually I do, but... That... I'm, a, I'm a single father of none. I, I can't miss no days work. Right, exactly. Right, exactly. But I'm happy. Right, well, I mean, I my children make me ecstatic, but then... Like, I know you not, don't believe not, that. Not having children make me ecstatic. Right, and not everybody's meant to have children. I was you meant did. to have children. Right. Like, I was meant to have kids. Like, that was... Anyway... So we moved to St. Louis. We go. There's this website called Fet Life. So we establish like Fet Life accounts or whatever. You no, know, I, I, you know, I, I was on Fet Life for like two weekends. And then you were like, "This I is said, too this much. Is too much for my soul." <laughs> yeah, you're like, "This is this is a lot." I, said, of- I don't like doing it the regular way that much to get to this. Is a, <laughs> this this is a, this is a high level. This is when like you get it so often, this shit's boring. I said, "Oh no, right? I'm not. I don't eat that much. So I'm still my. Right. I'm good. I was like, oh, this is way out of my league. Oh shit. Right. Well, and the, the, there's stuff on there that even with my experience or whatever that I'm like, really? I said, man. 
But so we do, so we get on FetLife and like the majority of people that he's pursuing are like feminine men or like either pre-op or post-op transgender. Mm. Is that the correct way? Yes. They're called transgenders now. Right. But I don't know. Transgender. No, that's that's the word. Okay. I was like, I do try to genuinely be understanding. LGBTQIA, bait, bait. But, um... So, that's the majority of people he's pursuing. Um, which, honestly, at this point, like, coming back to, like, some stuff that had happened, like, aside from that, like, it's hard to recover from watching your husband take it up the booty. Hell yeah! I'm fucked up now, and I wasn't even there. I need right. therapy. I'm calling 800 number when this shit's over, because I need that out of my spirit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing if you like you knew and like you had a conversation right. like some motherfucker he just like just said he just said fuck you right I'm finna get it in my right <laughs> right I'm gonna do and I, I'm, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna right. put it <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy as a motherfucker like, right like how 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 how, how barrier was y'all when that happened. Um, well, so how we, long was I married? How married was y'all? Like, oh, y'all yeah. was like, <laughs> y'all was light married, you know, like, right. like, like, like light, light pregnant or whatever. Little sprinkle. Right. We'd, we'd been married for six months. Um, but it was, we got, when we originally got married, we eloped. Mm. And so it was like three weeks before the big wedding with all of his family and all that stuff. Mm. And so that was like, so it was a big, and I like, and for real, like, I knew that I wasn't gay because I had had the opportunity to pursue things like that and knew that I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. Um, But he didn't have that. He grew up homeschooled in rural Missouri and stuff like that. So I was like, and I'm like, honest, man, I want to say I would be more, if he had, if he had never received, and I know this is like hella fucked up and stuff like that, but if he had never received, it probably would have been a different case scenario. <laughs> like, I know that's like hella bullshit, but like, like just being one hundred percent. Do you understand what I'm saying, though? <laughs> I get it. I get yeah. It. There's this weird part in my head that's like, you know what? If he just got his duck suit, dick, dick <laughs> sucked. I ain't gay. He sucked my dick. I didn't suck you. Right, right. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, right. Makes I sense. mean, you're still gay, yeah, but like, yeah. you're still like. You're not gay, gay. You just. Slight. You just lazy you gay. gay. Light gay. Yeah. <laughs> you, gave for, you gave for pay. You was like, ah, I mean, you really mean. I mean, right. You were in prison. Mouth, I'm mouth to mouth. I mean, what do you want me to do, man? Right, right. <laughs> but like. <laughs> you can spin that one like, yeah, man, I see what you're saying, though, man. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but that's the thing is you can spin it in your mind a lot better. Like when you're, cause like, that's the thing is like when you're getting through infidelity or anything in a relationship, mm-hmm. regardless of sex of the Human other person. Human beings able to survive in civilization, which is a horrible concept due to rationalization. Right. And justification. Right. Exactly. Cause like nothing about living in a society or a civilization of millions of people and having to sacrifice like a lot of your individual freedom as just mm-hmm. being a living right. source without being able to rationalize that. Um, money is important or justify making a, a horrible decision morally to justify you right. get money like it, it, society civilization couldn't exist right well no it's i because yeah i don't know how i got deep all of a sudden Sorry, i know guys. right so it's okay on Konya corner uh, it's deep with marcus uh, balls <laughs> <laughs> but so he um okay so i could have rationalized that but like as we're like getting into it and stuff like that i'm like this is something that i don't know that I can get past like it's not like it's a rough and we didn't do that work for all those years we tried to but and then like and then you You can't no I didn't say for so long I thought you were just a horrible person yeah. Damn, I thought you. I thought you just. I was like, my piece of shit. Like, she's she ain't shit. Like, you wasn't a piece of shit. You just wasn't. She was like, ah, that's fucked up. He's not a decent nigga. She just. She just. She just had to have that black sauce. And she just could not. <laughs> she them Newports and and cool and them cool Newports and motherfucking uh old English. Right. She, he never had a chance. She knew that. She right. knew she should have right. been 
right. with the white boy from right. Ted. I'm so, like, she's going to hell. But carry on. Okay, time to so, find out. He fucked it up for his You can't surprise somebody with some shit like that. That's not a surprise. You can't do that, dog. Right. This No, you no, you guilty. This yeah. Is, look, well, look, but look, it look, gets worse. Look, Central Park Five. No motherfuckers didn't do that shit. Get him out of jail. Right. <laughs> you out. Free freedom. Freedom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know some of the other stuff that was going on? Uh, if I do, I forget. Like that it was really abusive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, was just, it was just horrible. Right. I mean, right, that point he was an asshole regardless of whatever. He was, yeah, that's his bullshit. Right. He was doing that shit too. Right, right. So, but, like, and, the, and this was, like, I do get on myself for allowing myself to get as dependent on somebody else as I did. Like, it's mm. not my fault, but there is a point where, like, you know where you're at and you're consciously not making the choice. Then it's not my fault, but me moving forward, like, you have to make better choices if you, mm-hmm. like, you just, no judgment on, yeah. I mean, if you, you, you spent your formative years in a relationship built around falsehoods. Like, you, right. you can't build that. You're, like, trying to build a fucking mansion on quicksand. Right. You know, fuck, how, how this motherfucker is going down? Right, right. It was built on horrible grounding. So, the argument that we got into shortly before Dominic was conceived uh-huh. um, was because I found bestiality on his phone. Oh, my lord. He is out here. Yeah, that, like, I had, like, he'd gotten to the point where he was like, no, I'm not gay, I'm not this, I don't need to do this anymore. Oh, lord, he needs therapy. Right. And he was going to therapy at the time. And, like, Shit, so, geez. like, so... I was like, we need a divorce. I was like, we need to fix some financial stuff real quick. But this, like, this isn't where I'm going or anything like that. So, and when I met you, I was like, we are getting a divorce. Uh-huh. Like, that's what's happening. Um, Story of my life. I'm, I'm king. Of, I'm, we're getting a divorce. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know what comes in my life. <laughs> but so, um, <laughs> right? Everybody's getting a divorce. Everybody, but hey, how you doing, girl? You getting a divorce? <laughs> Here's my card. Right. <laughs> I'll get you back in shape. I'll get you back in these waters. I'm, 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 I'm Marcus Hasselhoff. I'm, uh... <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Marcus <laughs> Hasselhoff. Uh, but so okay so i find that on his phone i'm like we're getting a divorce because we were i mean what did we decide his name was josh no the other one uh, dominic said ronald ronald, ronald yeah ronald and uh, ronald and uh, mitchell was the ronald and, uh, or no it was it wasn't mitchell because it, it was hispanic it, martinez uh Men- menendez menendez okay so then I meet um McDonald. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna call him McDonald from now on. <laughs> um so I meet Ronald. Um and mind you I tried to get pregnant while we were married, like gone through like fertility treatments and all that stuff. Yeah, his body was off. His body was way too fucked up. Right. Yeah, God was like, No. Hell no. Nah, God boy. Was, yeah, God was like, No, this is not the life you want. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. So I meet Ronald. First time we have sex, um, I conceived Dominic, or my child. <laughs> um, and so, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but so, because um, you thought you lived in this, oh, I can't get pregnant. Uh, yeah, yeah, mentality. Bullshit, right, yeah. Right. The guy was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's exactly what God was like. That's yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you want, you want, you want, you want this cool. Right. You want a life full of Newports and motherfucking old English. That's, you gonna, I'm pr- I'm you gonna, pretty you, you gonna, we gonna blow this white skin. You gonna blow it? Okay. You gonna go with that one? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how that went. I'm ninety percent sure that's how that went. You want to sleep? You want to go spend time with that Italian man in Italy and, and, and motherfucking uh, Belize and shit? You want to keep? You gonna watch this man? Catch your motherfucking booty booty rub. You gonna stay there? You gonna keep doing this shit? Uh, oh, you can't get pregnant. You can't get pregnant. Oh, no, I am G A W D God. <laughs> That's exactly. So, like the first time, like I read the pregnancy test, and I was like, she, "That was." Me, we used the condom, bro. You, you got it. Oh, no. Yeah, lying. Oh no, I, I, I think we used the condom the first time. Then we went at it again. I was like, "Well, we, we here now." <laughs> no, I can tell this story. Been there, done that. Yeah, I was like, I mean, <laughs> but I, God's on my side. Or um, but so <laughs> um, I don't know why. Like in your mind, you think that we were like the first time. Like we were good. So. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> hey, they can't have that much semen in the second one. I mean, he was, that was a large load in the first one. He ain't got that much left. <laughs> right. Little so, did you know, it don't take much. <laughs> um, so, um, what was his name? I can't see. This is Ronald. Ronald. So, Ronald and I, like, Ronald's an okay person. He's just not the person that you have as your child's father. Like, he's not a... He, he's not none of that. He's, she's lying. He ain't doing that shit. That motherfucker... No, she's lying. That's Keep just because you know him, but... Exactly. That's how I can give an honest opinion. <laughs> he's not that. So, he... Horrible. When I saw she came in, I said, really? I said, well, I was like, 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 it's cool. I was like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, oh my God, I gotta stop coming to this place. <laughs> now I only go to work. <laughs> so my friend owns Colorado Bob Super Fools at 3457 <laughs> Morgan Four Road, 6316. Once again, that's Colorado Bob's Ship of Fools at 3457 Morgan Ford Road. 63116, the best new age dive bar in South St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> What's a new age resident. dive bar? Uh, uh, cleaner dive bar. Oh, with, okay. with new shit. Okay. <laughs> and women. And women. <laughs> <laughs> it helps a lot. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> it, the, it's amazing. How, like, we, like, right before he uh, bought it, bought it, like, we would, we would come up and we'd bring people and hang out, like, mm-hmm. and the crowd was like, it matched the owner. And, like, the crowd matched an older white man that probably voted for the bad guys. Mm. And then you can tell that was the crowd. It was like smoky, ain't been clean, they shit been dusted. Like it just was not, you know, right. motherfucking jukebox was all like blocked all the good music and like it's bullshit. It was like, you know, so we would come up there every you know, we knew he was in the process of buying it, so we come hang out and shit. Mm-hmm. But man, but when like he officially owned it, oh, that shit was pop because like what a women come in there. Like right, right, right. what a woman come in here for what? Let's right. live, let's live in, let's live in the neighborhood or grew up in it. Mm-hmm. They might come and stop by there and hang out there. Right. But, like, we had, like, a couple events, events, and, like, you know, you see, like, oh, man, the average age went from, like, 70 to mm, 40. This is great because a lot of right. you young motherfuckers are here. And, like, oh, oh, is that a piece of, is that a wet slice? Which is a horrible fucking name. Like, who comes it? My wife, like, they got a wet slice? I said, how old are you? Who says wet slice? But, like, right. a lot more women are coming in, like, yeah, this is... The future. So now, you know, most of the bar staff is still there, but then he has women bartending, young mm-hmm. women. And, like, you know, like one of the uh, ladies stayed over with him, took a newborn, like, she, like, come out of her shell and, like, just like, yeah, I held on. Like, 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 yeah, like, you get some stock early on, you just like, hold on to it. Right, right, right. Oh, man, you hold on to it. Like, Apple drops an iPhone. Like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to bust this motherfucker open. You know, there's some right. kind of show that I just I can't work in here. And then I was like, she like, I was like, is that your? I said, I can't see. Look here, bro. I know I do the social media and shit. And like, I love all that shit. Clearly, I'm not afraid of being in the spotlight. But look. I don't want to know the other side of my life. I don't need to. I don't need. I don't need to live. I don't need Boston to get out here like that. I don't want to go to the other side. Okay. Mm. I like this side. I'm happy over here. <laughs> I don't need to know what the. I don't need to know. I know it's beautiful. I have a. I look at my my um vision board. I said, man, one day. But I really don't want to. I really don't want nothing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's happiness, huh? I'm good being miserable. I can't be <laughs> Some of the great skies really just uh, breaks out my eyes. You know? <laughs> it's like, oh man, like you, like you, you talk about dope shit, like all that positive shit put out there. Like, do it with faith, but like, you right. know. Like what? If, what if God answered this call? Like I'm like I call a lot. Maybe can this be the call he called. This is make sure I'm, I make sure get my call right because he might pick up. I've been calling for a long time. One day I'm like, oh uh, God, I really want everything. Blah, blah, blah. Like hello, hello, God, God. Oh shit, man! How did they gonna pick up? I've been calling you for years. So, <laughs> In this prayer, <laughs> but it's not, I don't have much to tangent. But back to um Ronald. Oh, back to what? Back to talk about Ronald. Ronald. Oh, God, I hit you with that motherfucker. Oh, we can't get pregnant? Right. Baby. Right. So, and like, this, so, I met you before I met Ronald. hmm And so, um. How'd you meet Ronald? Uber. Well, how, many, how many Uber niggas did have you had in your day? I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
you know, you how you thought you was the one. Nah, you would have, like, full disclosure, full disclosure, although this was She was giving soul out that motherfucking soul. No, well, hey, like, so do you know, you know this because you drive for Uber. The first ride, they get $20 free. Okay. Or back in the day, they got $20 free. It wasn't Ronald's first time. But it was your first time. Yeah. Um, and so. But I think I paid for that shit, though. I think I actually paid. I, I, I mean, did. you don't, I mean, I know you don't, you get paid regardless, but right. like, I think I actually got charged for that. But I was, I just want to get my up. Oh, no, on. you're good. Uh, but yeah, so, like, generally the thing was, was that, like, if there was a dude that he was like, oh, this is the first time I've taken it, I'm like, awesome, $20. Like, not $20, but like, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And I was like, and then if they were, and yeah, it's not, you weren't hitting on me. He wasn't hitting on me. But if I was charming enough to like make it, were you doing like were you doing like fake taxi? Fake taxi. Uh, I'm gonna get to my. Just, so there's a category. There's, there's like a porn house that's called like fake taxi, where like attractive women drive taxis. But eventually, <laughs> they end up fucking their passengers. No, no, no. I mean, it's out of ink. It's out of Brit- Britain. But no, yeah. I mean, and it wasn't that bad. It was just something where I was like, okay, like if I knew it was your f- your first ride, um, then I knew you weren't going to be paying for it anyway, mm-hmm. like at coming out of pocket. And so, like, and if it was a short thing, then it was like, I like I'll be like. Like, and they were talking to me or whatever, like, I would stop and I would, like, we'd be at their destination. I was like, if you don't want me to end it, like, I cannot end it because I'd get paid either way or whatever. And they'd be like, oh, don't end it for a little while. And I was like, okay. And then we'd sit there and talk or whatever. But that wasn't what happened with Ronald. But... No, what happened with Ronald was he was my last passenger for the night. So I turned off the app. And, Turn off the app. And, like, light a candle. Do you, 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 you drop. You know where he lived, right? Yeah, but that wasn't that was you know what I didn't know to like a lot recently because I remember when I was Ubering a lot. I don't do much I used to, um, because I'm just fucking too busy. And I, and I get you know I get, I get my bread, but um, I I was Ubering and I picked him up from uh one o one o three, and took him up to the house. Oh, okay, because he lives not he lives like off King Highway somewhere, right, don't he? That's uh. Matilda's? Matilda's house. Oh, okay, oh that's Ma- that's Matilda's old house okay. that she had with Menendez. Well, that's how long it's been since yeah, yeah. I've driven. Yeah. So I think I picked them both up one night. And, like, people know me, but I don't need... Who I need to know, I know. So, right. like, I would see them out and be like, when um, Alice, you know, Dark Skin right. Alice would, uh, you know, invite me out and she would be hanging out with them at either Dukes or whatever and I'll come with her mm-hmm. before she got her boyfriend. People be leaving me for boyfriends and girlfriends all the time. Them bitches. Right, 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 right. None of them motherfuckers out me. That guy. Um, but, um. But, yeah. Yeah, that was that time. Yeah, okay. So, he used to live closer to the state streets. Yeah. Yeah. So, I dropped him off at his house. We went behind his house and smoked some weed. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. Um, and <laughs> Doing some Holy Spirit type. Okay, I'm not good at this. It's I'm the Col- Spirit. You're horrible I'm, at this game. I'm from Colorado. We don't do all this. We just say it and then it's not bleached. You're, like, you got, you're not creative. You to, you, I'm creative with everything. You know what it is. Right. I, I was impressed. I was like, Holy Spirit. Amen. That was good. I was impressed with that one. Um, But so... And then I left, and I decided to turn on the app as I was leaving because I was leaving, like, the downtown area. Yeah. Picked up a call to the, the airport mm-hmm. and then proceeded to get in a hit and run that totaled my car mm. at the airport. Mm-mm. Like, after the passenger got out and I was driving home. So, like, and I just bought the two, like, we just bought the second car mm-hmm. and to get through the financial stuff to, like, get the divorce or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and so... I call him up the next day, call Ronald Ronald up the next day, and um, I need, like, a flow chart. <laughs> I, I, I am the flow chart. Okay, so I call him up the next day. I'm like, look, I just want to get high. Like, all fucking day, I just want to get high. Like, I don't know what so I'm going to So you thought you could call this black man up out of the who nanny and say, I want to get high. You know, good goddamn well. That wasn't even the first time we did it, though. Oh, uh, damn, I, th- I fucked up my whole goddamn theory. Carry you did. On. There Fine. we go. Let me finish. I was, I was ready to judge. Right. <laughs> so then. I was like, 
<laughs> He's judging, but go ahead. Okay, so I show up the next, I, I show up at his house, mm-hmm. and I show up at like 8.30 in the morning. I don't know why. Like, I like I just dropped him off, so I don't know why I was there that early or why he was awake that early. Did you come with some breakfast? No. Oh, man, I need some breakfast. I'm pretty inconsiderate. Like, in ge- well, but I was considerate with you. Remember I used to bring you breakfast? Yes, I do appreciate that. Yeah. Gas station. God, yeah. I was there for almost, almost a year. God, man. Nah, it's kind of- Hey, how you how you doing, 